Hey guys, it's Dom here, and today I've tried to revamp the Halls of the Drummer deck I made, which has got like all the assembled and Dwemer cards in, by throwing in Galen the Shelterer, so it's now a Sorcerer neutral deck instead of just Intelligence and neutral. This honestly has actually made quite a big change. You won't see it in these games, but you just have to trust me due to the way Assemble works. Okay, so we're up against someone playing Daggerfall Covenant. So what we can expect is a lot of items. Hopefully so many they kind of drain their entire hand. So this is actually quite nice. We have Fabricate to go into turn one, just so we can have a bit of our Build-A-Bear episode. We've got Yagrun for getting back our cards from the graveyard, and Halls of the Dwemer obviously is just excellent in this deck. Okay, uh, so we'll Fabricate and go with the four, just so we don't have anything at four in the hand. And we'll go if you gain two health, just because usually the biggest issue with a deck like this is you run out of health, and then obviously it all goes to shit. Okay. Can't really do much about that. Unless we break the ring. Slap down assembled sanitizer. Give him lethal. And now all our assembled units have got lethal. Obviously, if we use Galen to try and put more in our deck, they... I don't believe they get this I don't know I haven't actually tried it yet the waters of life. okay that just slows down us killing their force one looter for a turn right um we're a bit stuffed for now to be honest because we haven't got much that we can go into I mean obviously we Go into custom fabricant next turn unless something else appears but we haven't got like a really nice clear game plan at the moment sadly i'll be honest the higher cost card in this these decks do seem a bit like bricks because you don't usually reach them so unless i started throwing in cards which reduce the cost of your cards or buffed up your magicka i would recommend removing things like sofa sill and dwarven colossus Actually, the Dwarven Colossus is fine. No, sorry, Centurion's fine. Colossus is a bit much. Hand over the coin. Oh, that's going to be a pain to deal with now. Because I'm guessing they're going to buff it more. Yeah, that, yeah that's going to get out of hand very quickly. Oh, boy. But thankfully they are putting all their eggs in one basket, as I like to say. Meaning if we can destroy that one card, they've kind of stuffed themselves over a bit. Um, we can put that down safely in the field lane. Obviously we do want to hold to the Dwemer quite quickly, but the issue of playing against Endurance is that quite a few of them are running something that can destroy supports. And when that happens, it just really messes the game plan up. Obviously, it's because supports are, like, your main pieces. So, yeah, we'll we'll slap down Halls of the Dwemer. Try and get down a Dwarven Spider in each lane, just to slow them down. Of course, if they are, like, a very, well, high soul gem required item deck, they might have a few cards which are really dangerous for us. Like, there's, like, Spark Staff or whatever it's called. Staff of Sparks, that is feral. Because they can just now keep on spamming off attacks. And as this is a neutral deck, we don't really have removal. Hence the reason. It's one of those ones which I'd recommend playing against a new friend to try and get them into the game. Rather than competitive. Like, I would never play a neutral deck on the ladder if you want to get past rank 11. <laughs> I stand behind my board. Okay, so... Hmm. You know what, actually? There's not really any issue at the moment with the hulking Draugr, so I might just go face. 
put down our sanitizer in the field lane. It'll get rid of one of the two. And anything good for Yagram to grab? Not really. Of course, this item deck reference is just going to keep on snowballing now. Which is a big issue. Okay, hopefully they... Oh, fun. Staff of Sparks, the one card we were hoping they didn't have a copy of. I mean, the only one thing worse than one copy is two or three. So, we just got to hope they don't draw any more of them. If they do have any of those. And that is exactly why. But thankfully, we can use Gearwork Spider to kind of cheese our way out of it for this turn. I don't just know how to them. Oh, and we're just getting prophecy after prophecy. Perfect. See, that's the reason why we run intelligence, just because of all the prophecies. So if a situation like that happens, we can just keep on throwing stuff back at them. And then... I guess... Hmm. Maybe, yes, Yagram into those spiders that we just had in the shadow lane. Because now we can just move them over to the field lane. Or we could just Dwarven Centurion, but I don't think it's as good as Gearwork Spider, to be honest. And you'll we'll put that in the shadow lane, just in case some bull falls out of their pocket. And you know, if we put this in the shadow lane as well, we might be able to just snap them dead next turn. If we can get lucky. I mean, I'm hoping for another Halls of the Dwemer, to be honest. Because then we just completely flatten them. But... Oh, great. If they have another Staff of Sparks now. They've just got it for free. Great. Yeah, this is... This is a very well-built item deck. Thankfully, guards stop it from being completely busted. I mean, that damage is still going to be very high. But we still get the prophecies, and that's what matters. Oh, we would have... If we got that the other way around, we would have got someone pointy wall, which... Isn't... I mean, it's, it's alright, I guess. I mean, there's not really much point putting that there. But, you know, it's just about summoning it. Which works, but... I guess go for... No, you know, I should have gone with Venom Tongue, just because it's got the staff. But... Oh, well. Um... I guess hit face a bit. And Aegis Automaton in the shadow lane because now they've got a like unstoppable rage to get rid of it. I'll fabricate too because I want to go back to Builder Bear. Uh, just guard, I guess. Right. I think unstoppable rage is probably like their one godsend save here. So. Or just a lightning bolt, that works, you know. Something like that. Oh, they are fishing. They are fishing for cards. They don't want to lose to a basically neutral deck. Oh, this is going to be a bit embarrassing for them, because I don't think they're going to get it. They are just fishing, aren't they? Getting their lowest cost items and just shoving them on that unit. I think it's a bit late, mate. <laughs> you got a big hand, but I don't think it's got what you need. You passed the unstoppable rage mark, so... I'm starting to calm down. Oh, but that's... That's two cards. Nope. Yeah, that's another one gone. Yeah, they haven't got anything, do they? Okay, I don't know why they played that, because now we can just win with our Dwemer card on the very right. Die. 
Oh, okay. You know, cool. That works. Right. Guild Sworn. Okay. Let's hope we get something good because Guild Sworn's quite an easy one to play if you got the right cards, obviously. It's just it can get a lot of nice removal as well as, like, has a very nice choice of units. So, we better watch out. Careful there, friend. Okay, so Wardcrafter can quite easily be countered, actually, by a Steam Conductor. Just because um, now we've got two units on the board. And it doesn't matter which one it kills, the other one will just be able to kill it. Oh, but they're using it for draw power. We always knew that Wardcrafter was an excellent crusader. Don't know why it didn't go with the other one instead. Just because they would have done one extra damage. Oh well. They probably assumed that I might just go for phase points if they went the other way around. Um, we're going to Lightning Bolt that just because I have a feeling if they get swarmy, we're going to get completely swamped. Storm ranks. Yeah. Uh, I guess Stronghold Incubator. Just because it can match it on power. I always give all friendly creatures, including itself. I haven't really seen that card much, but... Yeah, I would have assumed it was just others. Because, you know... Plus 8, plus 8 every turn you play an action. Max can be a bit powerful. Right, let's drop our other two steamy boys. Steam constructors, conductors, whatever you want to call them. And back to Build-A-Bear. Uh, go with the 8 cost fabricant and you know what, let's go give a creature a plus 1, plus 1. Just because I have a feeling that's the one that we're going to need to get rid of their horse lady. And obviously, the more health, the merrier. We must press our advantage. Oh, it's just B-Tech expertise person. That desperate. He's a lightning bolt on that. Yeah, so Custom Fabricant is actually going to be our lifesaver here. To help us get rid of Horse Lady. So, get rid of that. And I guess Dwarven Spider so our face doesn't take too much damage. We've now got a nice wall while we're holding up for the last, you know, few minutes. Issue is they've still got quite the big hand. And we do need to deal with it sooner or later. Okay. I mean, it means we get the summon ability again. We'll just lightning bolt it so they don't do 7 damage to face. And I guess Yagrim, because we can go for Stronghold Incubator, as well as summoning a Gearwork Spider this turn, just for a bit of defense. Now, there is a funny little combo, which is Stronghold Incubator and Yagrim Bagrim. They can infinitely loop. So what they do is you use Yagrim to get back Incubator. Incubator dies. There's a very low chance that he can spawn in another Yagrim, which you then summon and then resurrect that first stronghold and just keep on going. The infinite incubation tube, I like to call it. Um, so let's get rid of the Dragon Knight. And their drain is going to be insane. So... We're just going to have to deal with it for now. Honestly, it doesn't matter how high they get their health. They're just going to run out of cards eventually. No! Oh, okay. Let me lighten your name. Yeah. They lack faith. We must protect our stronghold. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, we need to kill that guard. And thankfully now, that's their support removal gone, I hope. And the infinite, the infinite incubator might be happening here. <laughs> oh boy, I, I might save it for now. Just because I do want to make a bit more of a threat proposal as well, Mark. 
Now let's hope they don't have any more support removal. Just because their hand's quite small. And because, you know, endurance is the main support remover. And they don't have that, so let's just let's just put our hands together and pray. They do have my least favourite card in the game. Unstoppable rage. Thankfully, Pointy Wall of Spikes is the best card in the game. So we're still somewhat safe. And they're kind of out of moves now. Like, honestly, they've got one card in hand of value. And we can still spam out walls. Yeah, this is just going to be a long journey to our win now, probably. So, let's get the infinite incubator back going. Living dwarf. Where is he? The battle is yep, nope, they gave up. Okay, cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.